guys and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I know you guys can beat me. Uh, it has been a little bit since I've made a video. I've uh, just been busy. If you have not watched my how to start a successful business, you need to watch my video because this, the last couple of months have just been crazy. Today I want to share with you a really cool pattern. Um, I have made quite a few. You know, if you're looking for a Father's Day gift and you're kind of looking around like what can I make? I need something kind of cool and different for them. Let me show you what I've got. So I sat down and I had so many people that loved my taco wallets, which I'll put another picture here. They love my taco wallet so much, but they're like, can you do like a guy's wallet? Like, you know, something that the guy can carry around. He's not gonna carry this big wallet. It won't fit in back pockets and stuff. So anyway, I sat down and I was like, yes, I gotta figure this out. So I came up with this pattern. Um, I will try and put better pictures um, up in a second. Um, I made the design so that it holds our uh, six cards and then it actually has a place where you can put dollar bills in it. And it's actually pretty slim and trim and it's really fast. I was trying to make my pattern really simple so that people could make them pretty quickly. If they needed like a last minute present or uh, if they were trying to pump some out for Father's Day because it's coming up and <laughs> This year, I was like, this year I'm going to be ready and I'm going to have something for Father's Day. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I did also, for the majority of these, I used cotton on the outside. Um, just because the card slots are kind of thick. So, I had a customer message me and she's like, I love your, your wallets. Can you put vinyl on the outside? So, I was like, we'll try. I did it on the domestic because I also wanted to show you guys that you can do this on a domestic even with the vinyl. It's it's thick, I'm not going to lie, but I, I did it with the domestic and it they turned out pretty good. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out your fabric. Hopefully there's like a picture right here. You've got your two pieces of fabric and your two pieces of interfacing and what you do is you take your inner facing, lay it down with the bubbles facing up, and then take your fabric, right side facing you, put it down and iron it real good. Make sure that you iron it pretty thoroughly um, so that it turns out and it kind of like holds on to the inner facing because you're going to be folding this a lot and you want that to be um, well interfaced. What you're going to want to do in the pattern, um, I've got all of the markings that you're going to make for your lines for your card slots. Um, so pay attention really closely to where the bottom of your fabric is going to be. This is going to be a part that you're going to really see really well. So the direction of your fabric is going to be really, really important. So your very first marking that's going to say bottom is going to be at this end. All right, so we're going to find our very first line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to put it on that very first line. And then I'm going to fold the fabric. This is the top part, so that's going to be your very first measurement. We're going to put it on that very first line and fold it over. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that it's even up here and even down here, and then you're going to iron that spot right there. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to flip it over, and you're going to look, when you turn it over, there's a second line here. You're gonna fold that over and you're gonna make a crease with your fingers. Okay. Then you're gonna find the very next line. Take your ruler or something long that you can put along that line so that you can make that fold because you're not gonna be able to see it from this side. Again, make sure that it's even at the top and the bottom so that your sides are lining up. Okay, and then iron that. I know it's a really, really long card slot, but I figured we'd get both sides done at one time. Okay, so when you fold it over, that's the line that you just made. You're gonna look for the very next line, okay? And then you're gonna fold it and press finger press it. Then you're going to grab your ruler and you're going to go to the next line and then fold that over. Move your ruler out of the way because you don't want to iron acrylic and then iron that next one. 
Okay, now you're going to turn that back over and look for the very next line and just kind of finger press it along that line. One more. Put your ruler down, fold it over, and make sure that both sides are even. Okay, and then just give it a good press. Normally what I would do is I'd go ahead and clip, um, put two clips here and two clips on the other side and then let it sit for a little while. And the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pick this up and top stitch each little layer of your card slots. Now that you've got your card slots all ironed, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take my bottom clips off and you're going to take each fold and you're going to top stitch each fold all the way up. You're not going to sew it down like this or you won't be able to get your card slots open. So you're going to open it up and take your very first one and just top stitch along there. All right, so you're essentially just um, top stitching where your folds are. So when you fold it back up, to being the card slots, all of them have been top stitched. Now you need to lay this back down and make sure that everything is even all the way across and then clip it on both sides. Then what we're going to do is at an eighth of an inch seam allowance, we're going to just kind of uh, base stitch these together. All right, now once that's done, you're going to take this um, back to your measuring board and in your instructions it'll tell you right where the middle is but you want to find the middle and mark the middle and we're going to put a C right here down the middle. Alright so I've marked my middle and you can use um, chalk, an erasable pen, whatever. I'm going to sew over top of it so I just went ahead and used a regular pen. It's fine. Uh, when you do make this line down here you want to make sure that you backstitch right at the top. Now what you're going to do is on each side of that middle mark you're going to sew a quarter of an inch so on this side we're going to sew another line a quarter of an inch on this side and then on this side a quarter of an inch on that side that's going to allow your wallet to bend you need that middle so that it will fold a little easier with those notches down the middle so you should have three lines going down one down the center, one a quarter on this side, and one a quarter on that side. Now we're going to grab your card slots. Now make sure that they measure what they're supposed to measure in the pattern. You may have to cut down at the bottom a little bit. Um, don't cut from the top because you've got your stitches in there. Um, but if you need to cut from the bottom, just make sure that it's uh, the measurement that's on the pattern. Um, it may vary a little bit depending upon how you did your card slot, so just make sure it measures that. Now we're going to grab pattern piece B. And then we're going to put the card slots directly on top of pattern piece B. And the next thing that you're going to do is we're going to do a, a basting stitch. Uh, basically, you're just going to sew an eighth of an inch, very small, on the corners. You're going to sew from all the way at the top, down around the bottom, to all the way back up top again. It's just to baste it, to hold it in place, so it's a little bit easier when we want to put the top on. All right, so I have got piece A and B together. You've got your card slots, you've based it around the edges of the bottom, and you've got your opening for your money. Now, a customer actually asked for vinyl. So we are going to attempt to do vinyl on the backing so that the outside of the wallet will look like a regular wallet. Um, this is really thick. So if you're doing this on a domestic like I am today, you need to go slow because it is very thick. And even if you try the vinyl, it's going to be really thick. So with the right side facing you, the card slots, you're going to take your vinyl or your cotton. Uh, I've done quite a few of them with just regular cotton. But your vinyl side, the nice side, is going to go flat down like that. You're just going to make a sandwich. And then what you're going to do is you're going to clip all the way around 
and then you're going to leave a hole at the very top. All right, so I went ahead and I took my scissors and I just kind of clipped the edges. Just make sure that you don't get your seams, if that will focus. Okay, so I just clipped all four corners just so that when you turn it inside out, it'll um, turn a little easier. So through the opening, just go ahead and turn everything inside out. And vinyl is amazing. It's almost like waterproof canvas. It makes everything harder. <laughs> but it's really good um, for stabilizing. And I think it'll have a really nice feel to it, having the vinyl on the outside versus cotton. I mean, the cotton was nice. Ugh. But the vinyl looked kind of fancy. Um, if you're using cotton, you can go ahead, once you get all the corners poked out, you can go ahead and kind of iron it down so that it'll lay flat um, oh. and I'm just going to take my scissors and kind of just very carefully push those edges out now again this is really thick so when you go to put this underneath your sewing machine you need to drive slow patience is the key today All right. now you at this point you would normally press this out but since it's vinyl I'm not going to be able to do that um, so what you're going to do is you're going to fold this in and then fold the vinyl in and then clip it and you're going to go right across there with your stitches so I'm going to do some top stitching to this all the way around um, and I'm also going to extend my stitches now when I do my regular sewing um, all of my seam allowances are quarter of an inch for the most part and then my stitch length is 2.5. For this to look really nice on the outside, I'm gonna do a four inch stitch length and I'll show you on my machine how I change it. So you've got your stitch length on your machine, if my machine will focus. Okay, there we go. So you see how I've got it on 2.5? Now I'm gonna slide her over to four. Is any time you're doing top stitching with vinyl or anything kind of heavier, you want to um, lengthen your stitch and so that's what I'm going to do here and I'm also going to sew with the vinyl side up because I want to make sure that the vinyl looks really good on the outside I'm not so much worried about the inside because it's going to kind of blend but the outside is really going to show up if I do a boo-boo so I'm going to do it where I can see the vinyl on the top now to top stitch you're going to want to do about an eighth of an inch from the edge and again make sure that you go slow where the card slots are because it's really thick. She was really struggling on these sides where the card slots are because they're just so thick. So let me cut all of my strings and then um, what you would do if you're gonna use cotton on the outside, I would normally just take it to the ironing board and close it up like this and then give it a press so that it will stay closed like this. But since this is vinyl, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set something kind of heavy on top of it and then just leave it there for a little while. And then you've got your wallet. All right, so what did you guys think? It's a very easy, quick sew. Uh, like I said, I was trying to come up with something that beginners could kind of sew and something that would be kind of relative to right now. Uh, Father's Day is coming up really quickly and before you know it, it's going to be here. So if, if you've got several dads that you want to make a gift for, this would be really great. Um, some ladies, if they're out working, you know, and all they have is their po back pockets, these would be really nice for them so that at least they could carry like some cash and, and a couple of cards. Um, I love my taco wallet. I keep looking at it. I'm just like, it's adorable. I'm going to have to make like a bunch of them. But anyway, so if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and see whenever I post a video, <laughs> you can hit that subscribe button. Or if you have any comments or questions, or if there's something that you would do differently with the wallet or the things that you like, didn't like, just uh, put those in the comment section down below and I will check those out. Thanks for joining us again here on FaithWorks Designs. Bye guys.